body alarm clock. Um, so we kind of went the more practical route and wanted to make something that you would actually use every day. An alarm can be set, or once the time hits, it'll launch a puzzle. And in, in order to turn your alarm off, you have to solve the puzzle and put it back on the clock, otherwise your alarm will run forever. So right now I'm just setting the time, the alarm time for 940. We've got five seconds here until the alarm's going to turn off. <laughs> so this is you getting out of bed frustrated, finding all the pieces, and now you have to use your brain to put this puzzle back together before you can get your alarm to turn off. So what we have is back here in our MP3 shield, we have just a slot to insert an SD card. And so we have like a morning mashup that we have, but you can actually download any sort of music you want onto it and wake up to anything that you want. So you put the puzzle back in, the motor reset your and your music turns off, so you're ready to reset your alarm again. There's an Arduino that runs basically, um, we have an RTC clock module on a breadboard back here that controls the display and runs the clock itself. And that communicates with the second breadboard um, that holds two different picks. One controls the motor movement to the two different positions and communicates with the Arduino. And the second pick controls the LCD display here on the left. And then these two smaller ones here on the bottom. This red one that's lit just signifies that the piece is on and the motor's locked. And then the green one over here will only be lit temporarily when the alarm signal is actually being sent and then it will be off the rest of the time. In the four corners here we have four magnetic read switches that are normally open unless there's a magnetic field uh, that they sense and they're all just ran in series. So once they're all closed, we get a pulse that goes all the way through them, tells the pick that the piece is set in the right spot and that in turn tells the motor to reset and then P3 to turn off. The four magnets, the way that the puzzle's set up is that you can't really set four magnets down and have it remain sturdy, so there's really no way to place them on there without actually yeah, yeah, you, you kind of need the weight of the puzzle to keep the magnets in place so that it'll actually reset. So the blue board here is the Arduino that runs the main code to the LCD, which is mounted on the front of the housing back there. Um, and then this red board next to it is the MP3 shield that contains the SD card, which is right there. Um, and runs the sound through our speaker over here. Um, and then this board here houses our two picks. Um, this first one here does the motor communication to the two different positions. And it sends a signal to and from the Arduino to begin that movement. And then it also will send a signal to the second pick over here um, that will begin the LED sequence here on the front wall as well as controlling the two LCDs over there on the floor.